just to make this better. You're going to want to clean it off with the detergent as well. You're going to want to scrape off any loose paint and stuff that shouldn't be there just to make it better. A metal spatula might be a little bit better, but this will do the trick as well. Just taking off anything loose and then we're going to caulk in anything that needs to make it nice and level. I'll get rid of any tape or anything along those lines. Alright. And here we'll caulk in some of these things like this. Just make it nice and fresh. that up. And we'll want to clean it with a little bit of detergent and a little bit, a little bit of bleach. Nothing too major, but just time to do a little preventative maintenance. Keep everything up. But all the other paint is holding good, but just that trim and wood. and a little bleach. I actually already had this mixed up in the last time I painted my uh, fascia boards, so uh, I'm ready to go. It's sprayed on. What it's going to do by rinsing it down first is uh, taking off any chalks that have come out of the paint, and this way the yeah, paint will adhere better. And I just got a rag. I'm just going to wipe it down. Not much to it, but to do it, no big deal. And while I'm here, I'll clean up some of the other stuff. I don't know if you remember the uh, bug invasion that I had. But uh, they left behind there a little bit of residue, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Clean this all off. And then we'll be ready to paint it. kind of up to you. You can mask all this kind of stuff off. I'm just going to be painting it by hand. I'm kind of used to it, so I'm not going to be masking it all off. I'm going to it in, paint it in, get it done. All right. Okay, so we got a bunch of small repairs here to go over, and it's up to you. You can use a spackling paste. I've got a special spackling paste that actually works on doors, too. Just did a little repair on the door, let it dry, and then sand it down. But um, it's a special stuff. So at this point, you can either caulk this stuff over and bring it nice and flush, or use a spackling paste. Just depends. The uh, caulking actually has a little bit more give to it. And so for corners and cracks and stuff where we have two different materials, that's a good idea to go with caulking in that um, it can move a little bit and maintain its its deal. So that's what I'm going to do. Caulk these up before painting it. And that'll make it better and less likely to crack again. Okay, so any place where we have two dissimilar materials meet, we're going to caulk it. And what you want to use here is an all-purpose caulking. Now, uh, that's very cost-effective. If you want it to last a little bit longer or a little bit stronger, if you use a poly polyurethane caulking, it's a paintable caulking, uh, that's going to be even better. It's a, it's a little bit stronger. So a polyurethane caulking is definitely the way to go. You know, a dollar for all-purpose caulking, you know, two to three dollars for polyurethane caulking, kind of a no-brainer you know it's it's gonna last you really you're better off doing this once than you know a bunch of times whichever caulking you use as long as it's paintable and you paint over it that's gonna also really increase the longevity as well as it's it's gonna look much better so that's of course what we're gonna do here is gonna paint over the caulking 
uh, this one's just an all-purpose caulking and pinning over it is going to make it last as long as the paint does really so uh, as long as the caulking was stored properly sometimes uh, if caulking is experience too much extremes in heat temperature or too much cold temperature that can affect the longevity of the caulking that's, that's a whole other story You just want to avoid going over anything that you've already it's been on there for more than 20 minutes or so and just leave it alone. And the rest we'll just paint in. Just more bigger cracks and stuff. Making it a little bit better for the paint to hold up. Okay. I don't think you really need to see all of it. I'm just going to do it by hand. I'm not, uh, you know, taping it off or anything. Just used a, uh, a rake in between the, the door to keep it from blowing closed on me or anything. Now we'll just paint it up, brushing things up, make it nice and new, and we'll be all set. It's like some of it will need a second coat, it'll do it good. back with this color and cut in the edge. She just thought it was much easier to make sure it was all sealed and then cut that in. So, no big deal. We got it all. And yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so just a little bit of stuff. We can just, a little sharpie, no big deal. Just make it a little better. a little bit better. Okay, we've got some old, old paint left over from the original construction or the original time that the uh, house was painted here. So we're going to
stir this up and hope for the best. It's pretty old. But it is mixing up, so that's good. Should be just enough to do what I gotta do here. Yeah. It's not perfect, but that's what I got. Should work out good. I'll take it right to the edge. And I got kind of a light spot or something going on here, so I'm just gonna kind of feather that in. And deal with that. There we go. And I'll need to get up on the ladder. a nice finished edge. See him way high up there. I don't know if it'll come through in the uh, video. That sounds pretty cool though. Second coat might be able to do it in one. We'll see. Either way, no biggie. Just gonna be that much better. Hopefully the sound of the eagles comes through, it's kind of neat.
But there it is. All in. Frame all painted. Yeah, a little time and this stuff should fade. Fade right in. So I'm trying to feather it out so that it blends in a little better right away. And hide the transition. That is what it is. Alright. Like maybe a little more right there. Alright. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. And if it needs a second coat, we'll get a second coat later. Okay, here it is. All dried in. Uh, I think the paint, after a while, will fade a little bit. Get a little sun exposure, but got a nice clean edge. Everything's kind of new. Oh, there it is. All in.